What's up everyone? I'm excited to present the Creality Ender 3. Now this printer was sent to me by Gearbest. I'm excited about this printer because this is a printer that is under $200 right now and they have some pretty cool features with this printer. This printer has a build space of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters. That's a pretty good decent sized build space and not only that they made it 24 volts so it's very efficient it's going to heat up fast and also has a few additional features where it shows that Creality has been listening to its customers. Alright so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in the box. Alright, so this is everything that it comes with right here, right out of the package. Here is our power supply, and it is a 24 volt, 15 amp power supply. They do have an XT60 connector, so it's just one connector. So I'm guessing that this connector is going to connect to this control board right here that controls all the fans, all the heating elements, and all that kind of stuff. So it probably has some sort of distribution board within this this box right here so that's that's pretty interesting but yeah so let's go ahead and start putting this together and it should be relatively quick all right so it looks like Creality has listened to its customers because they put bigger wheels right down here where you can adjust the bed I, I know like for the Creality CR10 um, that whole series right there the CR10 series that that and if you look on Thingiverse, it's like the number like three or fourth uh, upgrade that you must have because they put these little tiny knobs and now they listen to their customers and they put bigger knobs. So that's one additional feature that I like. I've also received this tool set from uh, Gearbest as well. It's a T handle, basically has both a flex fitting where I can put this on here and I can actually flex it and tighten stuff and it also comes with the regular straight fitting as well now I'm gonna go ahead and use this and it's fully adjustable and I think I'm going to use this today to put this uh, printer together to make it a little more easier than your little allen key that they give you Alright, so we have the printer all put together. We're going to power it on for the first time. Go ahead and flip the switch. So let's go ahead and do a bed level real quick. Alright, so one thing I did notice on leveling the bed it seems that the bed may be already warped and I haven't even I haven't even heated it up. So I'm kind of concerned about that. But let well we'll see what happens. So my first I guess I can see in the future my first recommendation is to put some sort of auto level system on this. One thing I failed to mention in the beginning of the video, one of the features that this printer has is if the power shuts off and then when the power comes back on, you have the ability to resume your print. So let's go ahead and test it. So I just unplugged it. Everything shut off. 
Let's go ahead and plug it back in. And then right here on the screen it says resume print. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And now it's going to heat up the extruder it looks like. The bed is still good. And let's see how it works. Okay. See that it did leave a blob there. I'm wondering. Okay. So I should have cut off that blob first, but we'll go ahead and let it go. But yeah, it's resuming right where it left off. Actually, it looks like it's just redoing the uh, layer that it was currently on. So it might be a little over extruded at that layer. Uh, everything that it already printed. But, your print is still saved. So that's actually pretty cool. Alright, so these are three models that I printed. And I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can find them and this was the very first print and this thing turned out perfect I use all the recommended settings and I actually kinda use some of the settings that I use for my Creality CR10 and it turned out really nice and it, it really got these small parts right here very nicely and for the first print this is a win <laughs> It really is. So the next print I did this one and I bumped up the speed to 60 millimeters per second and this these two are 50 millimeters per second and then I started noticing lines. I could start seeing these these lines and I don't know how well you can see it on the camera but there's pretty noticeable lines on there and I don't know if that's because I sped it up and that's a test that I'm gonna have to do uh, in the future so yeah there's there's it's not as smooth quality but then this one this model I bumped it back down well I put it back down to 50 millimeters per second and I turned it off in the middle about somewhere around here is when I unplugged the printer and then plugged it back in and hit resume print and then it went ahead and resumed the print and you can't even tell that I unplugged it in the middle of the print. That's probably one of my favorite features on this printer. For the price of this printer, I think currently it's like $200, but it's supposed to go on sale here soon for under $200. So it's in the low 200s right now. And it's featuring a heated bed, uh, 24 volt power supply, mostly assembled, and the uh, the and the power off feature and and that's that's a really good price especially for the quality prints that you're getting those are some of the things that I really like about this printer I noticed that I've I own the the Creality CR10 and the Creality CR8 and I'm noticing some of the upgrades that they are starting to do and they have a strain relief already in place they actually made the knobs bigger on the bottom right here um, so you can adjust the bed easier and they're they're actually listening to their customers and they're starting to implement these in their their future models so I'm, I'm really liking that uh, so some of the things I don't like is I'm, I'm not a fan of these these bill tack beds because to get this piece off it was extremely hard and I had to re-level the bed because I was moving the bed so much trying to get this piece off. I'm more of a fan of glass beds um, because I could either put tape on top or hairspray or whatever and the parts will still stick and then the, but they'll come off easier when the bed cools. One thing I also noticed while leveling the bed I would have all four corners leveled and it'd be all leveled all through here but then when I if I move the uh, extruder close to the bed and then check the center if it's level it's actually like swooping down 
so the bed is not perfectly level so I'm gonna have to find maybe a piece of glass to put on top or or something to put on top of this bed because it's not perfectly leveled or I could just add a BL touch to it and then it'll auto level and fix all that for me another thing is I noticed right off the bat is the extruder um, for the stepper the extruder assembly up here uh, I, I I don't think it's going to be able to you uh, print TPU it's there's just too much of a gap right here and I don't think I think TP, TPU is going to bind up so I'm gonna to have to print a part to make it print so it, it'll be able to print TPU that's something I really like about the TiVo Tornado TiVo Tornado was able to print TPU stock uh, I like how strong build it is it is a strong build I can carry it around um, it doesn't take up that much space they did a really good job condensing it down and you still have a really nice size bed and so that's that's I really like that I'm not really a fan of putting the spool on top of here because I feel that as this rises and it's printing uh, it's gonna wobble more with weight on top but um I think this is actually pretty this is strong enough where it's not gonna really affect it maybe if it was a CR 10 or uh, like a s3 or s4 or s5 it, it probably wouldn't be a good idea putting the um, the filament on top because it's so much bigger so much wider so I don't know I'm not usually a fan of putting things on on top of here so I know right off the bat that this is going to print PETG really well. Um, all my other Creality printers print PETG really well. And I'm a fan of PETG. I use that over ABS. Uh, it's probably just as strong, maybe stronger than ABS, and it doesn't warp. PETG is kind of the same. Well, it is the same. PET is the same uh, materials that are used in water bottles. Overall, this printer is a really good deal. It's good for beginners and it's good for the more experienced users as well. It's very upgradable as, and I can already see. You, you can actually put the, what a, Timothy's AB, a, a ABL kit on here and make it auto level that way. Uh, I haven't looked at the control board yet but as long as it's not the Melzi board, you could put a BL touch on it. And I'm going to guess that it is one of their newer boards, like what's in the CR10S. But I can't say that for sure until I open it up or find it on a forum. But it should be able to put we I should be able to put a a either a BL touch or the ABL kit on this. And those, the BL Touch kit, the full kit for this is probably would cost roughly 45 bucks. And I'm not sure what the ABL goes for now. Um, but yeah, this, this thing would be able to accept that. Um, not sure what version of Marlin's on here as well. But yeah, I mean, all in all, if you're looking for a cheap, good printer, I would highly recommend this printer. It does have a few little issues, um, the bed being probably the biggest one, but as you can see, I was still able to print. I was printing from the center. These prints turned out really well, but it does have a slight swoop, and this is over exaggerating when I was showing you how it swooped, but the bed is not perfectly leveled. They did use a pretty thick piece of steel on here, so that's good. I noticed that the bed is not insulated underneath as well. Something that TiVo started to do was insulate the, the bottom of the beds, which is a really good idea because then your printer's not working that hard to keep this bed hot. To conclude this video, I would highly recommend this printer to the beginners, to the advanced, it is a really good cheap printer and it works really well and it has very good features with that said 
Uh, I will leave a link down in the description below and as well as any coupon codes that are out there and keep in mind whenever I post coupon codes they're usually limited I it's it's like 300 units will have this coupon code and then once those and then everyone's posting those coupon codes and so then once 300 units are sold then those coupon codes are now worthless if you have any questions leave a comment down in the link below uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up as always, thank you all for your support and thank you guys for watching.